Hello everyone, so welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we'll be telling you about one of the frequently asked Java interview question that is to write a Java program to find the duplicate words in a string in Java. Now, whenever such questions are asked, so you have to deal, you have to deal with two things. One is the word and another is the count of it. So there are two things over here that you have to count that you have to check so how you would understand so whenever there are two things so we have got one of the uh, topic in java which is about hash map so what is hash map it basically deals with the key value pair so you can use these kind of things and you can start your logic based on this hash map so hash map will be useful because you are having the concept of key value pair so in the key you would be putting the string the word in the string and the count is the frequency, how much time it would be coming. So let's write the code without wasting much of the time. So what we would do is we would go to one of the class and uh, let's create one of the class in the string itself. So let me share the details. Yeah, so this is my ID and I'll create one simple class over here to find the frequency, okay? And we'll write one main method here. Public static void main and we'll create one string s1 equal to Java is a good language and java is simple language i am choosing this kind of string because you can get this kind of thing in the automation testing interview questions as well so see this java is there this java is there count is two but what we'll have to do is we'll have to convert it to the lowercase string of s2 we'll say equal to s1 dot and we'll convert it to lowercase dot split of, we'll have the regular expression and we'll keep it like this. Okay, so we need to convert it to the lowercase because these kind of things can happen. Okay, so that is why we are taking it into the lowercase. Now, as I told you, we'll go for a hash map. Right. So within hash map, we'll go for a string, comma, integer, and we'll name this variable as map equal to new hash map. Right. And we'll place it here. And now what we need to do is we'll, know, we'll need to go for a for each loop because we want to traverse through this string as to right. So we'll go for a for each loop. So two for each loops we'll create. First, let us see one for loop. So we'll go for string of, let's create one variable, s2, s2, we want to traverse through this. And here we'll put map dot, we'll say put, right? So within put, we'll have words, comma, and we want the value so we have got that method get or default, right? So we'll use this particular method of the map, which is inbuilt available, get or default, right? So it will return you to the value to which the specific key is mapped, right? So we'll have a count first, right? Comma zero, if my default value is zero, if it is coming again, we'll increment it to one and we'll close it. Right, so this is one of the for each loop that we will be using and then we'll go for one more for each loop. So it is coming in suggestions, so you can use as is. And this time we'll go for, so we want to print this, right? We want to print this output now. So let's go for the second thing. Right. We'll take this only. This is what we want to print. And this time we want the key set value of that.
and then we'll have our system dot out dot println statement. So within this, we'll simply write it the output. How many times those words are? Okay. We'll write words here. That is one of the thing. Plus, we'll say, and then we'll have this kind of thing. Right. Then again, plus, we'll say map dot get. Right, so this is our variable. So we want this and dash in between. Want this particular count to be printed. Now let me run this thing. So we'll come to know what is the count. So words we are printing and we are printing this dash. So along with that, it will print the frequency to you. Okay, so this is the thing that we are getting. So maybe here need to give this as a regular expression this would be there right so you can see java is coming twice easy is coming twice language is coming twice so you get the count of the words that are there in the string along with their frequency of their occurrence so what we did is let's understand in a nutshell again we created one string this thing will get it from the interviewer or you can also take then we'll convert it to lowercase because we want to have this kind of same consistency right it should not happen like something is lowercase something is uppercase and then we are splitting why are we going for split so because we want to apply this regular expression to remove the white space right then we are going for hash map since we are looking for each and every string and its occurrence right so its frequency so we are going for hash map then we are going for for each loop string words s2 s2 so this is our new variable and we will traverse for s2 right? since we are looking for every uh, string in this particular statement right and then we'll have the default by default what is coming and if it is coming again then we'll increment it right? and then the second for each loop the enhanced for loop that we are using is for the printing thing so this we would like to print right this is what you are interested in, along with the number of times it is coming so that you will get from this right so this kind of interview questions can be asked for automation testers this was asked in the infosys company so this is infosys coding interview question enforces java interview question that was recently asked to one of my subscribers right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates